We just made these car air freshener vent clips using an acrylic hack and some scrap wood and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're sticking with small items that have a big profit. We talked about it in last month's Zoom call with our patrons. Then there's been a lot of chatter in our top tier Facebook patron group and people sharing some files. So we thought we would share our version of those car air freshener vent clips. That's right, we've seen some really beautiful ones made with patterned acrylic, but we can't make patterned acrylic and it's a little expensive to purchase. So we thought we would share our patterned acrylic hack using transparencies that you can print on. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some eighth inch Baltic birch. We're gonna use some printable transparencies. We needed the little vent clips. And the little felt pads, these diffuser pads, they're little round felt circles, which you will add essential oils to. Let me share the essential oils. <laughs> um, this one is great. It comes with a selection and also has like a little recipe card. So you can make different scents. They can choose their scents. You could make it right there on the spot at a craft show. Ooh, pretend you're a chemist. Yeah, we'll do a little alchemy. Or you can buy the little pads already scented. So these are little scented pads that come in pouches and they could choose their scent and they oh. get one that comes with it and then they now open it. that looks it. professional. Yeah, a little, little bit pr more professional. I thought so too. Step two, we're gonna make our designs. Well, the background design, kind of the middle piece. It's three pieces. This is that acrylic piece. So we're gonna hop into Canva and we're gonna go look for some images that we can use and print on this transparency. So I was looking for some stained glass images. You can also get uh, one of the designs we have uh, is a mermaid design. So I'm looking for a mermaid pattern. Uh, you can go down here to photos and just grab a photo of a mermaid pattern and pull that in. We're gonna take these images, export them, and load them into Microsoft Word and size them to about three inches. We're also gonna boost that vibrance up about 40%. That way it will print nice and bright. And we're gonna use the photo best quality setting on your printer. Step three, time to design the overlays. This is like the cookie part of an Oreo cookie. We're gonna mash it between these overlays. Mm, no, you're gonna mash the overlays. No, you're gonna mash, oh yeah, yeah. it is over there. <laughs> we're gonna mash the background image in these overlays that we're about to do. So again, we're gonna jump into Canva and inside Canva, we're gonna look for laser cut pattern circles. And we're just gonna click on a couple, add them to our canvas and we'll export these as an SVG. Step four, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring this eighth inch Baltic birch over to the Omtech Polar and we're gonna cut out our overlays. And then I am going to take this acrylic sheet or transparency sheet, I'm gonna tape it to the cardboard because we're gonna take this over to the Polar Laser and cut out our transparencies as well. We'll meet you over in Lightburn. Now my settings for the Baltic Birch, I used 10 millimeters per second and 40% power. They came out okay. We're gonna cut our transparency using the Polar Laser as well. So we've got our transparency taped to this cardboard. We're gonna use the onboard camera to line up where our circles will go. These are a two and a half inch circle. We're just gonna line it up over each, one circle over each image and we're gonna cut the transparency at 20 millimeters per second and 20% power. Ding, 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 are you done? Mm -hmm. yes. Step five. 
Ooh. Time to stain and or paint. That was first try. Kim Cho stain, the longest of the drying times. <laughs> now, these are gonna be, the great thing about these is they're so tiny, this is gonna be so fast. I've actually already shaken up your stain. Ooh, not stirred, shaken. It is Ooh, shaken. these are like my poker chips. Ooh, I'm really feeling like James Bond now. Stained, shaken. So I don't stirred. know, all right, all right. So I don't know if you noticed during the cut process, there's a front and a back to each one of these and the backs actually have a little um, circle. A circle, a solid circle, where you'll glue or attach the uh, vent clip. So that was great. He added that to each one of them. Um, and we can offer this as a little too. like set here. Some of them I can't match up. Like I get the mermaid. Some of these square ones that confuse me a little. And then you've got to pay attention to... Oh, it's like that game. What was that game where you had to match up the face? Back in the front because um, otherwise the patterns won't match up. Yeah. So don't stain the wrong side. All right, this and this. Okay. Now we're just going to use this little foam brush. This is so easy. It makes staining super simple. Step six, time to assemble. We're just gonna take our two like Oreo cookie pieces. <laughs> Fronts and, and backs. We got our stuffing, our transparency. We're just gonna sandwich it in there and we'll glue it together using some Starbond thick. Oh, and then finally, we're gonna add the little clip that will allow you to clip it to your vent. We're gonna glue that all with the Starbond thick. Now, so we've got two different methods on how we're going to do this. So I was just saying, isn't it great how this Starbond comes with these micro tips? And this is a tiny, tiny little tip. And it's going to be perfect for some of these small pieces like the uh, mermaid scales here. I think it's going to be perfect for that. But Garrett. Now, she's going to go micro <laughs> tip. I'm going to go mega tip. And by that, I mean I'm going to squirt a bunch of this into a plate. I'm gonna dab it around in that glue a little bit, and then I'm gonna glue them together. That's, that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We'll see who's, who's comes out better. Yeah, let's we'll see if, it, I, if his neater, works. I think it would be- might be faster. Yeah, I, I think it would be pretty efficient if yours works. profit we are all in on each of these for about 55 cents yeah the clips are about 27 cents each little felt pads here if you just give away like little felt pads with no fragrance they're 10 cents the ones with fragrance are just a little bit more the transparencies are eight cents each and then the wood we estimated at about 10 cents for the wood or these are great scrap products, so yeah. hopefully you've got some scrap and it's really, I mean, I guess it still costs you a little bit, but if you were going to throw it away... I mean, a, either way, it's a good chunk of change. <laughs> we could probably sell these for like 10 to 12 bucks each. Yeah, we're thinking we're going to offer them $8 each or two for 10. So great bargain. I think yeah. we're making a great profit. Yeah, so out of scrap, I mean, it's all profit. Well, I guess the transparency and the time, but it was super easy to put together too. Probably one of our easiest. Well, wait, and one more thing. Some of these are made out of the eighth inch, but some of these are actually made out of the quarter inch. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Can't even tell. <laughs> I think I like the deepness. Well, we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us over on Patreon for our after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, and don't forget to join us on Tuesdays where we do a test cut Tuesday. Right now, we're doing Christmas in July. Yep. <laughs> All right. I am going to go put one of these in my car. <laughs> Bye.
to return to the room in the outer. <laughs>